Behold the future. This is the Oculus Rift Dev Kit 1. When we crack open this beautiful box, we are presented with a pair of goggles that are connected to a control board. Something that really surprised me is that the lenses that are used for the Oculus Rift are very similar to the lenses that I use in my Frenzel goggles. As long as your computer can output HDMI or DVI, you're good to go. All right, now I'm gonna throw some video at you of what it looks like when it's all plugged in and of my reaction to some of the demos. Building cords, this <laughs> is the Oculus Rift, which right. I'm holding upside down, which is approximately the size and dimensions of kind of large snowboarding goggles. All right. Pretty light. And we are trying out some demos. And this is what the goggles plug into, or and then you plug this into the computer. Yeah. So these are actually inseparable from. They connect directly into the. Okay. Uh, I don't know, kind of like the switchboard. You've got an HDMI out, um, power, and then there's head tracking. So that connects separately through USB. So okay. you're, you're running Windows, and so this is a. You can only use Oculus Rift with Windows right now, or no? So it works on Mac as well. It's you know PC, but um, most demos are on Windows. There's a few that are also on Apple, but just the majority are on Windows. And a lot of them are built in Unity. And, okay. Um, they're just pretty, I think, easy to whip together. So I have forgotten how crazy this is. Okay. <laughs> All right. I like how there's a keyboard right there, and I know there's a keyboard in that desk right there, but like I can't see my hands. It's really trippy. Oh, there's an Oculus Rift in the corner of the... <laughs> yeah. This is weird. Okay, so this is the laptop. Bro, oh, did you move me or did I move you? Nope, you're moving you. So you wanna, it's the WASD and yeah, the mouse. Okay. <laughs> w right there? Okay. Mouse. Oh my god. Yeah. So... Uh, I feel like Batman. Isn't he the one that used this? The Oculus like, Rift? No, <laughs> no, like the wooden thing to like practice his like jujitsu or something on. Oh yeah, uh, Wing Chun. Oh wow, you know what that is. Right? I keep forgetting that he was like look up. Yep. Dude, this, this is. Okay, so this is called Shiny. This app or whatever. Yep. Oh, there's a tutorial on the side. Oh, oh that's there's, like, cool. Stuff all around me. I love this. Here. 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 It's a freaking velociraptor. He's getting all close and friendly. Oh wow, he gets really close. Yeah. <laughs> He's like sniffing. What was the name of this one? Uh, don't let go. Don't let go. I feel like they could have done so much more though. You know, like the uh, Alone in the Rift, like have like some Slender Man or girl appear. Like, Something that actually scares you. Yeah. Not just like makes you want to let go of the keys. Yeah, these are just like creepy crawly, you know? Yeah. Like jerk reaction. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Oh, you kind of have the urge to like let I know. go and pull one out. Isn't that weird? The Maybe it's not. Up. Oh. I wonder if I'm gonna feel the. F I was wondering while I was watching you if you feel like Phantom on your arm, like oh, Phantom Spider. No, I didn't feel anything. Yeah, I bet this is pretty awful for someone who hates bugs. <laughs> yeah. It's such a low resolution spider. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You can, like. Yeah, no, yeah. No, you can't. And the other one, I'd be able to lean tilt, around. Tilt your head. Tilt your head, and it does it kind of. You can see it around the knives if you tilt your head. It's crawling up your arm. Oh. It's 
Oh. <laughs> That fire, that's so cool. It's so like 3D. I know, it's weird. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, victory! All right, like a good engineer, I was really curious how this all worked, so I tried to take it apart a little bit to see what was inside. So the main component is basically a pair of goggles that houses two LCD screens. And those screens are pretty big. As you can see here, I've got the goggles at an angle and you can just kind of see his desktop. Now, when you put the lenses over these screens, it distorts the screen so that your eye can see the whole screen all at once. And again, each eye has its own separate screen. So as you see the gameplay on the desktop, there's two different images. Now that's one for the left eye and one for the right eye. And your brain, being the awesome supercomputer that it is, converts those two separate images and then creates them into a 3D image and combines them inside your brain and kind of tricks you into thinking that you're seeing something that's not really there. And what really sells this experience is the motion tracking. As you look around, the goggles know exactly where your head's moving and how much and compensate the video to make it look like you're actually turning in that world. And that's all done with accelerometers. And it's amazing how compelling the experience is. This is just a development kit in the early stages, and it's still an amazing experience that drives your brain to think that you're in a completely different world. Now, this isn't to say that this is perfect already. This is a development kit, and there's lots of areas that it can improve on. One of the things is that the frame rate's kind of choppy. As you're looking around real quickly, it's not perfect. You can kind of see the frames get chopped, and it's not really... Uh, as believable of it as an experience if you're moving your face really fast back and forth but when you're just kind of moseying around looking around like you would normally it's it's very true to the position of your head and something I'm sure everyone will make a comment on with the dev kit one is that the screen resolution is not as high as they want it to be uh, when you have something that looks like a pretty good screen the closer you get to it you can kind of start picking out individual pixels and that's kind of what happens with this oculus rift dev kit one is that the screens don't have a crazy high pixel density and then when you put these lenses on top it, it zooms your eyes in and everything looks like you're kind of looking through a screen door you can actually kind of see the individual black lines in between the pixels but even with the somewhat choppy frame rate and the screen door effect this is an amazing deal. I know I keep saying this is amazing, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's something that I just can't compare to anything else. It's something that you're just going to have to grab a hold of, find someone that has one, and try them on. And it's it made me a believer within the first two minutes of putting it on. It was just a crazy experience, unlike anything I'd ever seen. And I guarantee you, as soon as Oculus Rift goes into production and starts mass producing these for the public, I will be throwing money at them trying to get these goggles. These things are worth it. However, I'm not going to get the dev kit too. I'm going to wait until they do a production launch. Now, this is mainly because there's not a whole lot of content right now out for the Oculus Rift. There's a lot of cool demos and a lot of plugins, and sometimes there's some workarounds for like Half-Life 2 and stuff, but nothing is really purpose-built full game for the Oculus Rift. And I think they're going to launch a lot of content with the production line. And as you can see, there's a big difference between the dev kit 1 and the dev kit 2. So I'm expecting an uh, equally great difference between the dev kit 2 and then the production. So you might as well just save your time and money. If you're not a developer, wait and get the most awesome VR headset in the world when they release this to the public. All right, well, that's it for the Oculus Rift. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, please ask me. I'd love to answer them. And I appreciate your patience on this cooling fan video. I know I've been promising this for a long time. But I finally figured out what was wrong. I had blown a Darlington transistor that controlled my PWM for my fan. And there's all sorts of other crap. I ended up ordering the new transistor. It's coming in. It should be in sometime this week. I'm going to install it. And then I'm going to finish up this video and post it. And hopefully everyone will benefit from it. Yay! And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Like the videos that I'm doing. Post comments down below. Ask me questions. Talk to me. Um, I've also started a new Facebook page and a new Twitter, so you can follow me on that. Keep up with all the little projects and all the pictures that I'm posting in between stuff. So check those out, and I'll see you next time.